because this is a mirror image. I know, right? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. We're streaming in a couple of different platforms this morning. So excited to have my guest, George, here um, this morning. Actually, it's evening for him. He's down in um, Australia and um, I'm here in North Carolina. And George is crushing the LinkedIn game and he's crushing his business, businesses, um, through leveraging attraction marketing um, on LinkedIn. And um, George, I'm really excited to have you here today because I'd love to interview. What we're going to do today is we're going to interview you about your businesses um, and the success you're having. Um, yeah. Anyone who's watching who wants to drop questions in the chat to ask George questions, please do feel free. Um, so George, with that, let's get started with, tell us a little bit about your two businesses that you're running online right now. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So my two businesses, uh, um, again, just a little bit of background. I got involved in networking 33 years ago uh, mm -hmm. in the Amway business. Um, I'm actually still a member of it. I haven't done anything with it in 20 years, but um, I did make good money in it initially. Got out of Got, I kept all the training and everything. I stayed out of networking probably till about seven years ago and got into Isogenics with my, who was my upline executive in Executive Diamond in, in Amway mm -hmm. and uh, jumped into the Isogenics business because I'd run out of money. I'd, uh, I took redundancy, went jet skiing for a year around the country, blew 140 grand jet skiing in the year. And uh, my wife said to me, she said, if you don't get a job, you're out of the house. <laughs> so... I, um, I, I didn't want a job, so I went looking for opportunities and just happened to go to a function. And first person I walked into was Trevor Chatham, who was my coach back in, in Amway. And he says, what are you doing here? I said, I'm here to learn how to make money. He says, great. He says, um, but I showed you this five years ago and you told me to take a hike. And I said, yeah, back then, no interest in getting back into networking at all. I said, now I need to make money, so show me how to do this thing quickly. Yep. So I got, got involved in it. Uh, in the first three weeks, I released, I was just trying to do the calculation for you guys. I released eight kilograms. And I think that's about 17 or 18 pounds, something mm -hmm. like that. Awesome. Um, in three or five months, I dropped 24 kilograms, which is 50 pounds. Um, and, but what I did in my very first week is I sent out emails to over 50 people with all the, all the big long links, list of links and everything else. None of them read them. None of them looked at the emails at all. But in my third week, I went out to the jet ski dealership and they said, what are you doing here? And I, or they said, what have you done differently? I said, what do you mean? They said, you were here three weeks ago, you were a porker. And now you're looking a whole lot trimmer. I said, well, what you, you can't tell your customers they're a porker. I said, they said, no, 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 no. We said you were a porker. Not that you are one now. <laughs> anyway, um, but seven of those people got involved with me in that week. And that paid for my first month's pack of products. It paid for uh, my next month's pack of products and gave 500 bucks back to my wife, which was, she was very happy about. Um, and I've in that business, so Isogenics has been absolutely life transforming for me. The use of the products has been absolutely amazing. Um, and I've been involved in that. I think it's six years, something like that we've been involved in it. I've managed to keep off that weight the whole time, but I've made a bonus every single week since then. Awesome. Not the sort of bonuses that I wanted. And so I went, I'd gone down the LinkedIn path before I heard about this Melissa chick. And I'd, well, I had something like 8,000 contacts on LinkedIn because I just would use the phrase contact, 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 contact. And I, everyone was accepting. It was great, but no one was looking at my resume. No one was looking at not a single job offer, nothing. And I think I sponsored one person out of LinkedIn from before that. Um, and then I heard about this program through David T.S. Woods. He was doing a presentation for Isogenics. He interviewed Melissa. I thought, right, that chick knows how to monetize LinkedIn. So I then tried to find out who you were, found out your page and everything else. The thing that I, the mistake I made was I didn't come in through the inside scoop. So guys, next week, the inside scoop's on. Come through there. If you come through the inside scoop and you pay in full, the team give you a whole heap of freebies. That's there's, true. Just plug, there's just a plug for Melissa's business. <laughs> I missed those because I jumped in two weeks before the inside. <laughs> anyway, I'm here in Australia. Um, so, so, so through that, um, yeah, I've, as I said, I've made a bonus every single week in that time frame, but not the sort of levels I want. Uh, last week, or actually this week, 
what's it today? Today's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, so on Tuesday this week, we had banana shake release in Isogenics. Um, and I engineered that and I went back. It's, it's really funny because just listening to your commentary to, about people that have built a business on a product basis, I've never built it on a product basis. We've always built it on a business basis and never, and the products just look after themselves. Mm -hmm. But what I've done over the last two weeks is I went back through my entire group and talked to them and spruiked up banana and <laughs> managed to get six of them back into life, back you go consultant, which has given me, and also we've got uh, Crystal Reset running at the moment. So that's pushed me into the Crystal Director, um, which, and the funny thing about it is, is that that's been on my goal board for so, uh, been on my goal board for so long. Mm -hmm. And it's there, and I just, and now I'm just reassessing. My newest business is in Hyperfund Membership Rewards. Uh, it's, it's associated with blockchain, but it sits off to the side and it's a basically um, setting up a membership rewards program and in it, the key benefit of it is basically half a percent a day for 600 days. And when my coach said that to me, I said, that sounds illegal. <laughs> and he says, it sounds it, but do your due diligence. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And I started going through it and it says you can get started for 300 bucks, 300 US bucks. So I said, that's no risk. Here's 300 US bucks. He said, did you read the materials? You have to use the process that's in the materials. Took me a week to get started in it because I couldn't work out how to do a crypto exchange. Uh, instructions were there, but it didn't like me and didn't like my driver's license. And anyway, I got through it. <laughs> and, and it's been amazing. And in that business, it's really interesting for network marketers is that some, a lot of the people who get involved have been in networking for 30 odd years. But the calmness of these people, because it's now 100% of the people who get involved make rewards, which is very different from a product-based business where mm -hmm. people have to sell a product to be able to make an income, which has been mm -hmm. really interesting. And so, and so from that, some people that I've met through LinkedIn Academy and then LinkedIn, some people have been jumping on board. But the big thing for me has been uh, really the enthusiasm that Melissa and Steele installs. Oh, like I'm pretty sure she's already done her laughing yoga this morning. But <laughs> the enthusiasm that Melissa instills into all of us as uh, members of the Academy has just been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'd gone through some tough times at the start of the year and things like that. And just in, the positive input the whole time uh, has been, I do thank you very, very much for that input into oh. it. Melissa. It's been absolutely incredible. Oh. And, um, and, and again, for me, it's it's really interesting getting results in my hyperfund business has also translated back to inspiration and results in my isogenics business. And I run it, I've got five other businesses as well, which aren't networking based. And two of those are actually this week have gone frantic as well. So we go like, what? But today we got to go jet, jet, jet ski waves yes. and we got the biggest waves out there today. It was just magical. I love it. So one of the things you just hit on that's so important, we talk about this a lot, is that energy. And it sounds like getting this, getting the wheels turning and getting some success in your hyper fun business and winning and having those gains has really jumped up your energy uh, yeah. and your enthusiasm to translate into your other businesses as well, right? So we operate at a certain vibration based off of like mentally and emotionally kind of where we are today. And that translates into what we're putting out and what we attract back. So it sounds like picking up this hyper fun business and running with it and being pretty successful from the get go has given you the confidence and the energy to kind of pick back up with the other businesses as well, which I love. Um, and I, I couldn't agree more, you know, like I know that for us, for me, people think it's crazy. I'm running more than one business too. Right. And I'm like, let's ride this way. We're in the middle of a launch with my LinkedIn coaching and I was pushing for a rank advancement at the same time in my other business. And I told my team, it sounds crazy, but you ride that wave of energy, right. And let yeah. it just emanate all over everything. So, well, let me ask you this because um, I know some people are listening in and just wondering like tips and tricks and like what's been working for you on the LinkedIn platform. I know you said you were on LinkedIn before you came through our program. Um, now you're doing things differently on LinkedIn. Um, you're learning how to use it and, and, and work it differently. Can you speak a little bit to that and how it's helped you out? Yeah, sure. Uh, and I think the big part about it is, is that, and 
and I was actually blessed that I think the first week in the academy, I got on a hot seat with you and I asked you the question, how do you get rid of the spammy pammy? Because again, even though LinkedIn is a business platform, I got on there and I said, right, I've got this great business offer, bang, 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 and I'm giving and I'm going deaf ears, deaf ears, deaf ears again, like what the and but I was still doing that, and I, and I thought I'd change by, by using your approach and like I was writing things down. Some of the techniques you know, like is to optimize your profile for your avatar. Um, and instead of going after everyone, go after a niche. So when you go after everyone, you don't get anyone, but you go after your niche and you can get your perfect person, you can get your ideal customer. Um, and one of the things I've, I've worked out since becoming calmer in it, but still excited, is, is that um, there's also a concept of uh, your power partner. And with having the power partner, and so it, you can be talking to someone and, okay, the offer may not be right for those, but if you build a relationship, build trust and rapport, they may be able to re refer you to your ideal customer. Mm -hmm. And by taking that step back and instead of going at this, because, again, we've got some awesome scripts in the thing. So I just put all the scripts together and set them all together. No, you need to break it down into the initial contact, build some rapport, build some more rapport. And, again, if they're already asking you about a question or about a business, sure. But if they're not asking you about a question, keep building rapport and finding things out. And one of the concepts that I've most recently heard about is actually using the concept of, how can we support each other on LinkedIn? Mm. Whereas before I was just going straight to the sell, sell, sell. Now I'm trying to find out from people how I can support them. And people are jumping into the conversations, people are interacting, and they're starting to look a lot more at what I've got as being a genuine offer mm -hmm. rather than just a straight sell. And sometimes it can just be two and three words that makes a difference between you coming across as spammy or you coming across as someone with a genuine business and belief for your per person you're talking to. So good, yeah. So what I hear you saying, and it's so important, we emphasize this so much in the Academy, is that on LinkedIn, just like any other platform, but specifically LinkedIn as a business-to-business -business platform, um, but we're there to network. We're there to create rapport and relationships first, just like as if you were face-to-face. -face. Sometimes we forget with digital technology that we still need to build rapport first and that long-term relationships can be built. Um, and many times you're, you really truly are networking with people that may not be your ideal client or business partner, um, but they are well connected with people who can connect you to the right people. And it, so it's how can there be a symbiotic relationship within us and I love what you said, you know, inside of our academy, we have a library of scripts that you can use that work beautifully, um, but it's all about pace and cadence and um, the human piece, right? The human aspect. You can have two people that blast out each 100 messages and one gets a huge ROI and the other gets crickets. And it has everything to do with the semantics of the back and forth and the authentic connection with people in the DMs, right? Exactly. And and again, it's, yeah, call me a slow learner. <laughs> it's, and, and, and again, I used to say, oh, it's my enthusiasm. And, and it's a mixture. You, you've got to have your enthusiasm and you've got to have your belief, but you've also got to have taken that step back and found out what it is about the person that you're talking to yep. that is inspiring to them. And... And it's, it's really interesting because I think that I've learned the techniques for LinkedIn. I've actually used them more in my one-on-one -on -one conversation. We're still in lockdown here in Melbourne, right? We're not allowed to go more than five kilometres from home, okay? But walked into an office and it was my wife's boss and I just started having a chat with him and he's gone, well, you obviously believe in what you're talking about. He says, how do I find that information? I said, well, get me an, give me your email. And before I'd even finish that, he's, he's texted me his email and I was able to send him the material. And again, and it's really funny because having talked with him, he said he got involved because I must be credible because Linda and I were involved in it. Right. And I'm going, what? Where does the credibility come from? Like, <laughs> and, it, but it's, and that's a big thing about personal belief is, is that you have credibility and you can get more credibility 
but you've got to stop telling yourself that you don't have credibility. What confidence sells. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember when I first publicly came out on LinkedIn that I was leaving my, you know, multiple six figure corporate career to build an income producing asset in the e-commerce space, lovingly network marketing. And I thought I was terrified to go public. Right. And I actually ended up enrolling like 18 people in my business that month off of LinkedIn. And it's because of what you said, George, I came out with confidence. I knew where I was headed. I wasn't afraid and my confidence soul. People are like, wow, you know, this person's credible. I've known her for a while. Maybe she's a little bit batshit crazy, but sounds exciting to me. I want to learn. Right. And so confidence sells and people may watch you for a certain period of time before they decide they want to, to lean in and learn more. Um, but what we know that we know that we know on the number one business to business platform is that people are there looking for options. And it all depends on how you're presenting your option and how it's packaged if they're open to receive what you have to say. And if you're being super spammy like every other salesperson, then of course they're not going to be interested. But if you can truly connect with them on a human level, understand their needs, understand what they're looking for, understand the gaps in their life, right? Understand the pain point of maybe why they're looking for something else, right? How can... How can you be of service to help show them and cast a vision of a potentially different possibility or option that doesn't necessarily have to replace their nine to five today, but can build out an additional income stream to create choice long term, right? Um, so I just I absolutely love that. Is there any, um, can you share with us? And, and let me say this too. What I love is that what we train, it's called the LinkedIn Method Academy, but I love what you said. What we train is really a methodology of business that can translate and transcend anywhere. Um, I know one of your buddies, Jay, has been using it belly to belly in his local community looking for business partners locally. Um, you know, we, we talk about it translating into other social platforms if you know where your avatar is hanging out. Um, but it's a methodology in which looking for and collaborating with like-minded people who um, are looking to build an additional business, really an additional income stream, right? Um, can you share with us maybe just one example of how uh, the strategy has really unfolded for you over the past couple of months? I know you just shared one about your wife's boss, but do you have one more scenario maybe that you can share with those that are watching and how our method has really uh, cracked open the nut for you of opportunity? Yeah, I was, I, was, I was writing down techniques. And so it was like optimizing your, sorry, optimize your profile for your avatar, uh, doing the opportunity overview video, which just really helps you instill belief in yourself by doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, Calendly has been a game changer for me mm -hmm. um, to actually wake up and find appointments in your Zoom. And it's like, and linking Calendly and Zoom together has been absolutely fantastic. And and one of the other things I picked up actually from um, TikTok was uh, using Linktree to put all your links together so you can put right. together. And what I've been able to do is use those techniques that you've taught us from like the Calendly stuff. And when I'm talking with someone on TikTok, I can send them my Calendly link and then they can book in. They can watch yes. my opportunity video, which is attached to my Calendly link. Um, and, and And again, it's... It's also, I think it's still a confidence. Like for me, I've been talking about stuff that I've been doing. I had some relationship stuff that I had to fix as well, and I've, I've done a lot of work on that as well on the side. But by doing that, when I'm talking to people now, they said, we thought you are excited before, but now we can see your belief. And so, again, just a couple of the guys that, that I was even jet skiing with today and like, they're going like, so, so what are these things you just got recognised for? Like, w w what are you doing that's successful? Um, so, again, I've managed to introduce 15 people into my hyperfund business in four weeks. Um, yeah. And, and, again, it's, it's just using the confidence. Um, again. So let's pause for just a second. You just rank advanced in both of your businesses. That's Can right. you show everybody what exactly your rank advancements were this week? Okay. So I rank advanced to Crystal Director in Isogenics. Um, and wrecked events to expert in hyperfun, and so it's it's actually quite interesting because going through some of the history videos of the people that bought it into Australia back in January, 
mm-hmm. and they were all at that level. I'm thinking, and where they are now, I'm thinking, oh, yes, the next six months are so, so exciting for where we're going. And, yeah. and I love and, that. So see that energy, your smile, your optimism yeah. is going to create this massive wave uh, in both of all of your businesses because your energy is going to attract back what you're putting out, which I love. Congratulations on those rank advancements. That's huge. Awesome. Thank you. It's very exciting. Yes. So um, one of the things you did that I wanted to... I love that. What's that? I did this, and there's bonuses attached to both of those, so I love that. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, one of the things you hit on that I want to underscore for everybody watching Um, that we really coach to inside the academy, Um, but especially for those of you watching on LinkedIn or any other platform where maybe you're chasing your tail with getting on calls with people. One of the things that I learned early on and implemented and now train inside of my academy is a technique that reduces all the back and forth um, on the platforms where you finally have engaged with someone who wants to get on a call, wants to learn a little bit more, But we know on LinkedIn specifically, people aren't necessarily on there all day, every day, like they are the other platforms, right? So you can literally play a game of back and forth for like two weeks, trying to land on a time that works in their calendar and in your calendar. And so I really train inside of the academy, a strategic automation where you can instantaneously connect calendars with people in that moment of connection and land on a date and a time that work for both of you that populate into your calendar and you're ready to go. And when you get really good at your attraction marketing, you wake up like George and you see that people have booked themselves in your calendar to learn about the opportunity, which is just awesome. Just awesome. Well, George, um, any final remarks as we wrap up? I'm just really enjoying featuring you as one of our spotlight students inside of the Academy this month. That's just really rocking and rolling. Yeah. Again, it's, it's, I think, I don't, and again, you had David come in and do our, uh, one of our earlier leadership sessions. Um, and and it's, it's about getting the confidence um, and take your confidence from each small win that you get along the way and build upon it. Um, and it's, for me, all the years had sort of knocked the confidence out. And um, again, now just starting to get some great results. Mm-hmm. Um, very, very exciting. Uh, so and, and the other, by all means, anyone who's listening, jump on to Melissa's um, Inside Scoop next week because it, you, there's five days of the program and you will be able to turn your LinkedIn. If you, if you can't get a booking straight out of that, come back and do some more of it again. But the, the whole program is absolutely amazing. And um, everyone who does it, again, like, it's really pretty simple. And, it's just, and, and we're getting people that are that have never seen LinkedIn before, people like myself who've been on LinkedIn for ages but not necessarily using it properly. Um, yeah, just just jump in and plug into Melissa's. Make sure you get onto Melissa's um, a cat, not a cat, what do you call it? The strategic advisory because that's the start of your week pumped up. Mind you, for you guys in America, it might be the start of your week. Here in Australia, it's already Tuesday by the time you guys start on Monday. <laughs> I know, you're um, living in tomorrow. <laughs> And, Actually, and, technically, we're in the same day right now. Right now, we are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love that it's a global community, right? We have people in the UK. We've got people in Australia. We've got so many different companies and businesses. We have a lot of people. We've got a lot of coaches. We've got some people in the mortgage industry. We have people coming into our academy who are not in direct sales. They're trying to learn how to leverage attraction marketing to find ideal clients on LinkedIn, right? Um, The method is still the same. It doesn't matter what your end product or service is. What we coach is really getting clear on who your client or avatar business partner is, right? And then how can you market to them and attract them towards you instead of you chasing them? Um, So I absolutely love this. So by the way, George, uh, you're going to want to, after this, you're going to want to go connect with um, Najia because she says that her ex-husband could really use a side gig. He left his um, his second full-time job recently. She's inside the academy, so you might want to go reach out yeah. to her. You might have a little connection there. <laughs> we, excellent. We Zoomed with her this morning. Oh, okay. Awesome. She was, she was, Najee was in the audit this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, last night for me, this morning for you. Yes. <laughs> I slept in eight hours between that and now. It's, it's I've been wave jumping on my jet ski since then. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, this has been wonderful. Um, and also just a great display of how we're able to work with our clients globally. You know, I love that George is on the other side of the planet um, and we're able to connect and learn and collaborate from each other. So thank you, George, for your time. Najia says she slept too, right? So it was, <laughs> um, thank you for your time today. We're so excited to continue to see your success inside the Academy where you're continuing to share what's working best for you. Um, and we'll see you on the back end. I'll, I bet I'll see your face popped up here and there in the inside scoop next week if I had to guess. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, George. Have a great weekend. All right. You too. Bye-bye.